Hey everybody, Mr. Shea here from Black and Tan Media, and I got a quick video and a super simple trick. Hey everybody, it's Mr. Shea here from Black and Tan Media. Sorry, I had to do that. Um, I got a, a quick video here on DaVinci Resolve and how to use the uh, gate function in the Fairlight tab. So uh, the audio we're going to be looking at here today, as you already may have noticed, was not the best. It's got some uh, background noise that's pretty annoying. I shot this at a wedding venue while I was setting up and you can hear a HVAC or heater or some kind of thing making a whole bunch of noise. I think it's the floor right up above it was maybe a so, well, I don't know. Uh, uh, you hear it. Hey, everybody. Mr. Shea here from Black and Tan Media, and I got a quick video and a super hear that? simple trick that can help out uh, uh, any DJs or audio professionals out there that sometimes have to work by yourself. So sometimes you got to get... Sorry if my audio's glitching a little bit. We'll keep it simple so it doesn't sound too bad here. So anyway, we're going to jump right into this. You're going to go to the Fairlight tab. That's the uh, music note down here. That's the music portion. If you're not seeing this mixer over here, come up here to the uh, kind of middle to right, top right, click mixer, that'll toggle this mixer on and off. The track we're looking at is on audio two, so that is A2 here, and to bring up the gate, when you bring it up, it's gonna bring up a blank one here, and uh, so you're gonna bring it up and nothing will be here. This is how you control your expander, gate, compressor, and limiter as well. So turn on the gate strangely enough you click gate on if you're not familiar with the gate i'm going to try to keep this as simple as i can if you're an audio person you probably understand this already um, the simplest way is to think of a gate that opens and closes and when it opens it lets the audio through when it closes you get silence or at least a lower level of audio hence where the range comes in so basically you have a threshold, you control that. That is this line right here. As I move it back and forth, threshold controls how loud does the audio signal have to be before the gate opens. Range controls how much is the gate controlling. Basically, how much does it lower the volume? Does it completely shut it? If you turn it all the way on, or does it just lower the volume a little bit when that happens? Gates are also used in radio to drop the sound of music down when people talk over it with the audio, uh, talk over it with vocals. So it kind of brings the music down to help out with that. So basically, how it works the attack and the release. The release is used to define the time it takes to change from open to closed. So release deals with the back side of the gate and how fast it closes after the audio gets quiet. So larger uh, release would give you basically a longer fade. The attack controls how fast the gate opens after the threshold is met. So a very short attack would swing open, a long attack would swing open. Hold, this one here, controls how long after the threshold disappears does the gate stay open. So basically it's kind of like you're going to say, hey, after the car passes through the gate and nothing's there, hold it for five seconds or hold it for whatever and then close it. Or if you've got it on zero, then that gate is smack and closed as soon as it's done. So let's quit talking about a gate and let's hear how it actually sounds. On this audio clip, you remember it had that gag, gag. Um, let's, uh, let's just set it back to the original settings how it comes out of the box. Uh, any DJs or audio professionals out there that sometimes have to work by yourself, so sometimes you gotta get this speaker. So you notice you can hear my voice, it's kind of uh, cutting in and out, but you could tell something's happening to it, but you could still hear that background noise. I'm gonna raise my threshold a little bit so that you say it has to be a little bit louder like the sound of my voice. I'm also gonna raise, raise the range here so that it can lower that. I'm gonna lower my attack to be a little bit quicker I'm going to give my release a little bit of time. I'm going to keep hold pretty short. Let's see how that sounds. This stand, and nobody, nobody is here to help. So, here's what threshold, you do. Threshold is a little bit high. I'm going to bring that down. And the attack is a little bit too slow. I mean, yeah, it's a little bit too slow. I need the attack to be faster. you got to figure out where you want your stand to be. I want it to be in this corner. Make sure you got it in just the right spot. 
Make sure it's tight, make sure it's set up at the height that you want it because you're not going to raise it up after this. Then what you're going to want to do, set it to where your third leg is back to where you can lean forward like this. Lean it straight down onto the ground. Don't let these two move. Place your speaker face down. Slide it in. So I know that doesn't sound perfectly probably coming through here because of my, my processing is getting taxed a little bit recording the video at the same time. But if you notice, that sounds a ton better. I'm gonna back it up a little bit. And uh, let's see what this sounds like with it on. Work by yourself, so somehow. Let's get past this. And nobody, nobody is here to help me. So with here's what on. you do. You gotta figure out where you want your stand to be. I want it to be in this corner. Make sure you got it in just the right spot. Make sure it's tight. Make sure it's set up at the height that you want it because you're not going to raise it up after this. Then what you're going to want to do, set it to where your third leg is back to where you can lean forward like this. I'm going to lower my threshold a little bit more because I want to make sure that that, that, uh, lean it straight down onto the ground. Don't let these two. I'm going to bring my range down a little bit. Move. Place your. Actually, let's bring the range all the way in. Speaker. Face down, slide it in. Now, don't move the pole. Move the speaker to the pole. Get it on the pole. Get it back where it's supposed to go. See, that sounds pretty good. That's actually taking a lot of it out of there. So for in this case, that's probably good enough for what I need to do. Um, I'm gonna show you one more. I think I brought in the audio to this, uh, uh, my intro. That's on audio one. Let's see how that sounds with a gate on it. I think I already turned the gate. Here's now drop it. And let's make it clamp shut really fast. And let's make the attack really fast. Let's hear how it sounds. Reducing the gain. You can notice how it kind of. Now, if I bring the release out a little bit, it'll get a little more natural. If I bring the hold out long enough, it'll never even have time enough to turn on. So my advice is get in here and play around, um, experiment with it, bring some music in, bring some audio clips in. Uh, if it's your first time playing with Gate, you may want to look up a little bit more than this. I kind of just barely touched the surface of what it can do. Um, gates are pretty powerful and pretty cool tools, so hopefully that'll help you out um, in removing some unwanted noise from your mix in DaVinci Resolve. Memphis J here, like and subscribe for more, check us out, Black and Tan Media, hope you enjoyed the video, that's all I got, thanks for checking it out, alright, nothing to see here, what, what are you still doing, come on, alright, alright, I'm turning it off, you ready, see you later, okay, stop.